What up everyone, it's Allie and we're about to get serious. Okay, so I've been going through like Tumblr and I've been seeing in the news, there are a lot of things that we really need to stop doing. Um, when I was going through Tumblr, there was this post saying like how if you say something to someone, you know, you've got to obviously be careful of what you say to someone because you don't know the impact or the effect that you can have on someone. Um, good example, when I was maybe eight or nine, somewhere around there, my brother had these friends and their mom used to braid my hair. No, she did not do this. <laughs> but um, she used to braid my hair and I'll never forget that this one day they were over and then she made a, this comment at me. She was like, you talk funny. and. I was just kind of like, you know, I'm little, and I was just like, oh, okay. And then, I don't remember, but I think her son said it too. I remember we went swimming, and I, he said something, and I don't remember if it was you talk funny or something else. I've been trying to remember for this video, but I don't. But yeah, they straight up told me that I talked funny, and like, things that people say, like something like that, like, I can't help the way that I talk. I, it's just that's how my voice sounds and for the longest like I've been kind of self-conscious about that even still I'm like do I talk funny like I I wouldn't like going up in front of class to you know say something or anything because I felt like well everybody's gonna say that I have this funny voice so we really need to like be careful on things like that um, you know if somebody has like pimples all over their face like don't point it out okay because one, they can't help that, okay, and even if they can, you know, maybe they are trying to help it, but you don't sit there and point it out, because then they're going to become extra self-conscious about it, and like, try to cover themselves, like, no, don't point it out to them, that's being rude, and you guys know that you're being rude, okay, I have pimples right here and here, I can't do anything about it, I've tried scrubbing and whatnot, and they just don't go away. Another thing is, uh, and Raven Simone did this. Um, the whole name thing, like, okay, if somebody's name is, for example, Watermelon Andrea, because, um, don't make fun of that person because that's their name, like, they, they were birthed with that name, like, I don't even use my name because I used to get made fun of back in middle school, this kid used to call me, I'm not even gonna say it, but, um, you know, he used to say, oh, you have a boy's name, and he, I don't have a boy's name, by the way, like, I go by my middle, na my middle name on here, but no, I don't have a boy's name, but he used to take my name and make fun of it and say, call it a boy's name, and you know, it hurt, and I remember this one time he actually did it, I was in high school when he did it, and my brother was with me, and my brother ended up like going off on that kid. Thankfully, he never, you know, made fun of me again, but like, don't make fun of somebody because of their name, like, they're literally born with that name. You know, Watermelon Andrea can't help that that's what her parents chose for her. You know, and Raven, back to the Raven thing, she was like, oh, well, I won't hire somebody if they have a ghetto name. Like, really? Your name is Raven Simone. Like, there's a hyphen in your name. Like, your full name is Raven Simone. I'm just saying. You know, you can't make, you can't not hire somebody because their name is Watermelon Andrea or Bonquisha or something like that. Like, they were just given that name. I mean, yes, they could change it, but, you know, some of us like our unique names. I like my unique name. Bonquisha likes, might like her unique name, so might Watermelon Andrea. So, no, don't make fun of them because of their name. Another thing we really need to stop doing, and this is, like, the biggest one, and I'm really not trying to, I don't know, um, slut shaming. I have seen so much slut shaming going on. And especially recently, because Kim Kardashian just posted like a nude photo of herself. She literally covered here, and she covered, you know, her bottom area, but she got slut, slut shamed so bad for that. And it's like, okay, hold on. In the past, you know, people were literally like leaking other people's photos, and everyone thought, oh my gosh, these are really hot, blah, blah, blah. Like, really? You're gonna say that someone's leaked photo is really hot and you're gonna like be accepting of that, but then when somebody actually themselves posts it, she's a slut. That makes no sense. And not only that, yeah, people praised the 
whole photo thingy, but then at the same time, people also slut shame those people. Like, whoa, how are you gonna sit there and slut shame those people for something that somebody else did? Like, somebody literally hacked their accounts and leaked their pictures, their private pictures, and you're gonna sit there and call them a slut and a whore and whatnot. Like, that makes zero sense. How are you gonna do that? And then, not only that, but it's so different when it comes to a woman. Like, they had the whole leaking thing. All the girls were like basically slut shamed, slut shamed. But then there was guys, and it was like, oh well, it's okay, you know. They laughed about it, and it's whatever. But let a girl laugh about it, and she's a slut. Really, that makes no sense. Like we have got to stop slut shaming us females. But we are the ones. Yes, guys do it, but us females are the ones that do it the most, if you notice, which is really sad. Like, we're women. We're supposed to stick with each other. We're not supposed to tear each other down. And here we are bringing each other down. Everybody's bringing Kim Kardashian down over this photo. Like, why? She felt confident enough to sit there and post herself. And I, to be honest, I don't see a problem with that, but that's just me because, heck, I, well, no, I wouldn't, but good for her. She's got this I don't care mentality, good for her. That's how we all should be. We should all have this whatever. We're women, we stick together. Let, we need to stick together. Back with the picture thing. I know I keep going back. No, Again, how I said notice how all the girls got called slut or whatever. And then the guys were just praised. We all need to stop calling, we've got to stop calling women sluts and whores and whatnot. Mean Girls reference, by the way. <laughs> Seriously, though, like, we've got to stop calling each other sluts and whores. Let me ask you this. Have you ever noticed how guys, their, um, names that they get called is, like, pig or dog or... I don't even know. It's always, like, pig or dog or just man whore. I don't know. But then, for a woman, it's witch, with a B, slut, whore... C-U-N-T, all these crazy names, like why do we have these awful names that tagged onto us? Why are people calling us such awful names? We have got to get out of this state of mind where it is okay to call each other these horrible names. I don't know, there's so many things that we really, we just, we need girl love. That's what we need. We need girl love. If you guys haven't seen Superwoman's video, you guys have got to, I'm, as a matter of fact, I'm going to leave a link in the description box. You guys have got to watch Superwoman's girl love video because seriously, that's what we need. We need some girl love up in here. And we just, not even just girl love, we just need love in general. Like, we need to all just come together and just love each other. Because at the end of the day, we're all human. We're all just trying to be loved. We all just want to be accepted. So, you know, why? tear each other down. Let's all love each other. But anyways, thank you for watching. That was my little rant. Um, it's just some things that I've been noticing. Um, again, you know, let's not, let's stop making fun of people over things that they can't help. You know, if somebody's overweight, don't make fun of them. I've got a gut. I know. I need to get rid of it. I realize that. Don't make fun of them because they have a gut. Don't make fun of us. Don't make fun of somebody because they're super, super stick skinny. They can't help it. Okay, so let's spread the love. <laughs> Thank you for watching this video. I really hope you liked it. Um, I'm trying. Let's get to 50 subscribers. We can do a giveaway. Also, don't forget to like and comment. And uh, yeah, hasta la basta.